there. You good. Right oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see him. Go. Ah, you cast. I'll cast downstream. You can cast. There you go. Perfect cast. That's how I've really fished all of them, and for whatever reason, they're not hitting this clear. Oh, we just took him. Go. Oh, shit. oh shit. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap, dude. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you, did you see him come up? He hit it in one foot of water. Get that on the GoPro. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he nailed it, man. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the start of our day. Oh. Wow. I'm out here with my sub, Derek. I'm going to guess Ooh. he's never going to take me out again, but... No, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That We're here right now. That bass, that was a four-pounder. Came up out of those reeds right there. I'm using this crazy-looking live target mouse. He just nailed it. Yeah, he did. Right, and that was what eight inches of water. He, that's less than eight inches, man. Ooh. Crazy. Oh, oh, there's one coming on it. Good one. Oh, I saw. Oh, he's right there. Oh, damn. Oh, it's a giant. Gosh. No, 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 no. Dude, I ran out of space. Come. Yeah, you're good. Oh my. Damn. Oh, he got. Oh, he did. Oh, my, dude. Oh, it's a huge fish. God, it's a big fish. He nailed it too. Dude, that's a big bass. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And this mouse is getting some attention. Oh, there's a fish. He right. took the mouse. It's a good fish. Good fish? Yeah. All right. Oh, damn it. It came off. No way. Gosh! Oh, and he hit that thing too, huh? Yeah, man, he took it under. <laughs> oh, Gosh! You never know if he'll come back. On the mouse. Get back in there. Unbelievable. Good fish, too. On the freaking mouse. <laughs> I never, ever would have thought. Still need, we still need to land one. Oh, he came back for it. Oh, that's a different oh. fish. No, that's, that's a different fish, though. That is a good fish. Yeah, it's a little bit different one. No, it's, it's a little bit smaller. But still. Next cast. That's awesome. Probably bigger than you think. Oh, really? Bigger than I think, huh? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it's, it's a good fish. <laughs> you're right about that, dude. Oh, man. Come on, give us a jump. <laughs> no, we, no jump. We just want to get this guy in. First one of the day right here. Probably what, two? Ow, man. These, oh, man, these teeth, these yeah. teeth are super sharp. Yeah. They feed on bait yeah, fish in here. Good, that's a good... Official weight. Oh, wow. Three? 3.83. Whoa, what? Yeah. 3.83. Oh, yeah, he's longer. He's longer than yeah. I thought. Yeah. yeah. 3.83. Here, grab him. That's a good fish. Yep. All right, we broke the ice. Broke the ice. I cannot believe, man, on the mouse. On the mouse. Crazy, huh? Not for a second. Hooks out. Guy actually has a little parasite right there. Let's get that off for him. Yeah, this parasite's sharp. What is that? Is that a wart? Is that a parasite here? Actually, I think it's... I'm not sure guys, you let me know if that's a ward or a parasite. I can't get it off though. These are some of the sharpest gripper teeth I've ever felt out on a fish oh, yeah. for this size. I don't know why up north they don't have sharp teeth. Oh dude, what the heck? Do I keep him out of the water too long? Whoa, there he goes. Alright, he's good now. Yeah, up north, yeah, they typically have like more dull teeth up north. You ready to go, buddy? You ready to go back to your home? Go eat some more bait fish? Those are some sharp freaking teeth, man. Must be no no crawfish in here or something. Or not very many. Update for you guys. We've been fishing for about an hour and a half. We've each missed some uh, strikes. Only one fish landed so far. That uh, 3.8 that I caught. I think the mouse bite is dying down. So I'm about to switch to the uh, Old Faithful Florida bait. Gambler Big Easy. But just wanted to talk a second about this crazy looking bait right here. This is the I forgot. I honestly I forgot what brand this mouse is. But uh, I'll have a link to it in the video description if you're interested in checking it out. By far this is probably one of the most unique baits I've ever seen. It has a really flexible tail, this jointed tail right here, and it has some of the widest wobbling action I've ever seen in any bait. Um, what that looks like it was doing, it looks like it was really drawing in those fish. And I mean, this water is crazy warm over here. The best way to fish this, it seems like, is to uh, slowly retrieve it. If, the slower you reel it, the uh, more it'll stay on top of the water like a wake bait. If you reel it a little bit faster, it'll just go right under the surface. So it's a, a pretty versatile bait. 
you know, I've never even tried it out before, but I threw the popper for the first uh, 20, 25 minutes of the day, not even a nibble. Wanted to stick with top water, and I uh, just felt like trying something new, so I threw this guy on, and worked out pretty well. All these right here were bluegill beds. Looks like uh, Florida's had a little bit of a drought. I noticed that in a couple ponds I've been walking by, they've been really, really low. We'll see how that uh, affects the fishing. These fish are in here. We just gotta trigger them to bite. They're hitting something. Yeah, they're hitting something. Oh. Got them? Oh. oh, no. I wasn't looking. That's okay. Dude, I think he's really did. He oh, he broke your line? Dude, that was a pound or not. Dang. Man, he just hooked. Oh, Derek you gotta... just hooked up. He what happened? The leader. Oh, the leader not broke. What knot did you use? It actually broke. It did. Yeah. What I knot just do you use like? the surgeon's knot. Surgeon's knot. Here we go. Right where I wanted it. Oh! He, oh, dude, he blew up in it. One, one, um, look what I'm doing. Oh, you dangled he, it? Yeah, he, he blew up on it. Dude, that's some Bama bass stuff. Oh, that is some Bama bass stuff. You like watching Bama bass? I've seen that. Uh, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Dangling. I was like, oh, there's a bass. Then <laughs> there's, there's a few more. <laughs> they kept on coming. Five, you usually don't see bass going up in ponds. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. Here they, uh, Here they do it all the time, it sounds that's like. That's the only way we catch them. Really, like, that's really unique. Yeah. See one? Big school? Which way? Which way? Which way are they going? Right they staying there? Got him? Again? Oh my gosh, dude. There's a school of 10 bass here. Oh, he's. Oh, he's oh one's looking at it. Oh, he's, he's He'll grab it. He'll oh, grab oh. It. he just took it. That was so cool. Dude, that was so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. It's a good fish. Got it. Oh, the, what? The, he just came off. No what the heck? He took my entire bait. What? The, dude. dude what the, you and the line broke too? We, my leader. Your leader? Dude, let's get back out there quick, quick. Right, oh my I'm gosh, man. Up a that was insane, dude. That was freaking insane. <laughs> dude, that was awesome. He rushed up and grabbed it. See what I mean? One started to get close and the other one just... Yep. Oh, yeah. I, I think saw. it's so competitive. I'm, ch I'm chasing that school down, dude. I'll be right back. Oh, I see him. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Here he is. Oh, I see him. I see him. They're all here. Oh, we found the school. We found the school. Oh, he took it. He took it. Got him. There we go. We got another one from the school. Gosh. That's a little guy. This guy's a little smaller. Got this guy. Another three pounder right here. Another beautiful fish. Fishing that gambler big easy. That's so cool to see these pond fish school up. I've never seen anything like it. It's absolutely incredible. Oh, there's another one over there. It's 8.30. I'm already sweating like crazy, but we're finally starting to figure out these fish. Derek noticed a lot of them schooling up shallow. He actually saw a school of about 10 bass swimming across the uh, pond from us. So now we're targeting these shallow areas, looking for those school and bass sight fishing. And uh, what I'm using right now is I'm actually using the Gambler Big Easy on the swim bait hook, but I pushed the weight all the way up. So I'm fishing it a little bit more like a Texas rig. And what's happening is on the schooling fish, these bass are getting really competitive. When one comes to check it out, the second one will come, come up and try to eat it. So that's uh, been really, really cool. I've never seen this anything like this in a pond. And uh, I just, I don't want to talk a lot because I got to get back to fishing. Damn, where did that school go? It must have moved on. There, you see him? Yeah. All, right. All right, Derek sees him. Let's get back on the school and fish. See one? That's a good fish. Oh man, right from that bush. That's a good fish. Oh, he swam back. He swam right up to me. Oh, I got him. Let's get away on this dude. It's gotta be over four, four and a half, something like that. Yep, 4.39, very close to four and a half. We're starting to figure these fish out a little bit. It took us a while, dude. It took about two hours to really get on some. Get her nice and ready to go. What a pretty girl. You ready to go? Let's see. There she goes. Nice fish. 
forgot we mixed something with it where you can mash it together. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Got a freshwater carpet fit. <laughs> Oh, he's got him! Oh, that's so cool! Oh my god. Dude, sight fishing is so freaking cool. Gosh. I saw this dude just swimming in there through my bait, just jigged it a couple times. Spinner bait? Now the swim bait still. Everything's on the swim bait. How fast were you working? Real slow. No, I was fishing on the bottom like a, like a worm. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Another one hit it. It's all sight fishing. This is the coolest golf course pond I've ever seen.